Hello and welcome to the video. Today I'll be showing you how we replaced our lower control arms, upper control arms, and our bushings on this SL55. Stay tuned. Really quickly, if you haven't already, please follow my Instagram at Mr. Falterbach. I post there frequently and I also run polls to see what everyone thinks about future mods, future ideas for videos, and etc. Not to mention, I have a ton of sneak peeks on what's to come with the build. Again, that's at Mr. Falterbach. Now back to the video. Right after Dad and I finished replacing the ABC strut, we went ahead and checked the other suspension components before we put the car down on the lift. While he was inspecting the components, he noticed that my upper ball joints and my lower control arms, their bushings and joints were starting to get worn. They weren't in bad shape, however, they were getting old and eventually we were going to have to replace them. So I decided that it would probably be best for us to replace them while we were there. And when I say while we were there, the car also needed to have its AC compressor replaced. Due to age, the AC compressor started to show signs of it being worn. So we had that part already ordered and we were about to replace it. And then we realized that we had to drop the whole subframe. And then when we were looking into dropping it, that's when dad noticed that the joints needed to be replaced. car is up on the rack we are going to change the lower control arms rearwards forwards up these are the lower both sides we're going to change the wall joints as well both sides to begin First, you must take off these two torsion bars. To remove the two torsion bars, you must first remove the screw that's holding them both together. Once you remove that screw, you can go ahead and start working down the arms and removing the other screws. And then we can move forward from there. Now we can go ahead and start working on the lower control arm. Now, to remove the lower control arm, this nut that we just took out, once you undo it, it should slide right out. Once that's slid right out, you can grab your pry bar and pry it out from the lower portion as we do in the video. Now if your lower control arm gets stuck over here, which is very common, what you can do is grab a mallet and hammer it out by hitting the larger circle and that should be able to pop it out. Now to remove this nut, what you can do is heat it up with a torch and then hammer it out from the bottom and that should be able to pop it out. Once you've done that, it's time to remove the pitman arm so you can access the upper ball joint. And able to do that, you first remove the three nuts to replace the upper ball joint. Once you've done that, grab two mallets and Hit both sides of the pitman arm with a hammer simultaneously until it pops out. Also lower ball joints changed. These are the old ones. All torn down. To replace the lower ball joint, what you can do is hit it from the bottom out with a hammer and then that should be able to pop it out if you can. Don't want to do it on the car, you can remove the piece and put it on a table and do it that way. Now that basically everything is removed, all your joints and control arms, it's time to replace them with the new parts. And able to replace them, follow the same instructions as removing them. If you hammered something out, hammer it back in and torque them to spec. And here you can see my OEM ones that I got when I purchased the car. I'm pretty sure these were never replaced. So this is what 100,000 miles looks like on these control arms. Pushings are 
not in bad shape, but they will eventually need to be replaced due to age. And that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it wasn't the best video that I've released, but the purpose of this video was for you, the DIYer, the garage warrior, to, to be able to knock something like this out over the weekend and be able to drive the car back on Monday. So if you guys found this video useful, please leave a like. Drop any comments if you have any questions down in the comment box below. Subscribe if you haven't already and follow my Instagram at Mr. Falterbach. In my next video, we'll be replacing the AC compressor and the motor mounts. I have a lot more footage and in-depth videos because I was actually present when we were replacing that part. And before I leave you guys, uh, if you haven't already, please follow my Instagram at Mr. Falterbach. I have something really big coming up for this SL and I'm pretty sure you are all going to love it. So, I'll see you in the next one.